Today, we're going to teach you how to create slide masking text intro. Hey everyone, welcome to Filmora MVP channel. Here we teach you editing tricks, filmmaking, and camera techniques. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and also hit the notification bell to get the latest updates. Before we start editing, click the download link in the description box. Click on the free download option. Now a Filmora installer is downloaded automatically. Just double click on it, agree with the terms, and here you go! Filmora started to download and install. Once it's installed, it'll start and run automatically. First of all, let's go to Titles tag. Drop a default title on track 3 and keep it 4 seconds long. Double click on the title and change the font to Bank Here Retro. Adjust its size to 100 and type your words. Find the text spacing below to increase by 5. Here we take a snapshot of this frame. Next, we need another snapshot. Double click on the default title and change the text color to any color, taking a snapshot of it. Again, double click on the default title, bring out the advanced panel, click on add shape, select the rectangle shape. Meanwhile, switch off the text fill on the left side and find the shape fill option below. Let's change the shape fill color to white. Adjust its shape to a thin line, rotate it and move it in position like this. Then delete the text layer from the timeline of advanced panel, go to the animation tab on the left bar and select round zoom out. Now back to the main editing window. Locate it at 5th frames and make it the start point of the default title clip. Now move the playhead 3 frames further and drag first snapshot clip on track 1 at the playhead position. Keep the snapshot clip 3 minutes and 20 seconds long. Go to the sample color, select the black color, and drop it on track 2. Smaller the size of sample color. Rotate it and align it to create a mask for half snapshot, decrease the duration to fix the clip. Let's locate at the starting of the snapshot clip. Double click on snap to access the settings panel. Change the X axis position to make the text slide into the line and black color. Place the playhead 10 frames further and reset the position values. Then go ahead to the position of 3 seconds and 10th frame. Here we need to add another keyframe. Place the playhead at the end of the snapshot clip. Change the X axis position to 391 and reduce the opacity to 0%. Go back to first frame and reduce the opacity to 0%. This will create a sliding effect from right to left. Now export this clip at a higher rate. Select all clips on the timeline and move them to one track above. Meanwhile, drop second snapshot on track 2 and adjust its duration. Now we select the black color clip and change the black color position from right to left. Then hide the clip on track 2. Click second snapshot clip and add keyframes as we did for the first snapshot but this time, make it slide from right to left. Now export this at a higher rate. Delete all the clips from the timeline. Click on Import and import the clips we just now create with a background clip. Drop Music Clip on Track 1, then drop 01 Clip on Track 2, and make it 4 seconds long only. Change the duration of Background Clip to 4 seconds. Now change the Blending Mode of 01 Clip to Lighten. Drop 02 Clip on Track 3, Make it 4 seconds long. Double click on it and change blending mode to lighten. Place the playhead at the 5th frame and go to the elements. Drop element motion shape 3 on track 4 and keep it 8 to 9 frames long only. Copy it and take the playhead further. Paste the elements and align its position as per line effect. To see the final preview, click on the render preview. That's it! Thank you for watching! If you like this video, then give this video a thumbs up! Plus, subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon, but don't leave without sharing this video and leave your comment below! Bye!